致五十八人死亡、七十多人受伤之后，在上海的民众继续抗议。政府已发公告，今后将修改大楼的安防守则，进一步加强大楼的安全检查。大量的群众前来悼念死者，并对其家属表示安慰。As soon as my youngest finishes college. Yeah, well, you better tell her to hurry up. Hey, Virgil. Sheila. Thanks for coming. I, I can't be late for this meeting. Yeah, I can get somebody to drive you home. Oh, thanks. You really think they're going to give you this promotion? Well, yeah. Preston's retiring next year. I I'm the next in line. What if they don't? They will. Robert Moore. Mr. Moore, this is Jerry Fielding with People Power, an executive placement service out of New York. Okay. I was just calling to see if you were happy with your work. With the work, yes. Well, how about the money? I, I guess I, I. I found your resume on LinkedIn, and I think you'd be perfect for a plant manager listing we have. Oh really? Where? Advanced Insulation Industries, Shanghai. <laughs> As in China? <laughs> I don't think you'll be laughing when you hear the salary. No, uh, there's no way that I can move to China. Ah, oh, think of it as a vacation, an adventure. You stay there. Three or four years, you come home with a huge nest egg, a new title, and world's your oyster. Listen, um, I, I appreciate the consideration, but I, I'm just gonna have to say, say no. Thank you. Jesus. Mr. Wei. Hello. This is my assistant, Lee Chung. My name is Margaret Mallory. I'm the general counsel for RIS. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Right this way. All we need are a few pieces of your specialized equipment to begin manufacturing your glass insulation in China within a matter of months. Mr. Wei, I want to thank you for coming and for making your proposal. But we're already negotiating to build our own plant in China. Oh, I understand, but working with the Chinese government can be a slow process. Without our help, it could be three to five years before your product reaches the Chinese market. This means tens of millions in lost revenue. You need a Chinese partner. We would do all the work, and we can split the profits. Mr. Wei, our proprietary manufacturing process is what differentiates us in the market. We cannot allow it to leave our premises. Our plan is to manufacture the insulation here and then finalize the production process in China. We understand completely. I assure you, we can take whatever precautions you deem necessary.
Hi, Dennis. Oh, hi, Robert. Your secretary said that I would find you here. We, we had a meeting scheduled for now. Sorry about that, Robert. I have to approve the new production line documents before we send them off. Don't suppose you know where they are. Oh, uh, yeah. I was hoping that we could discuss the position that's opening up when uh, Preston leaves. Everyone here in management appreciates what you've done for the company, Robert. Well, I, I appreciate that, Dennis. I, I just need to know if I have a shot at the job. Well, there honestly haven't been any serious discussions about his replacement yet. You will, of course, be seriously considered for the position. And I can tell you, just between us, profits and productivity are up. And that'll be reflected in bonuses this year. Oh, well. <laughs> bonuses. Good. <laughs> Thanks, Dennis. By manufacturing in China, you save on transportation and labor costs. It is a win-win. Yes, yes. Uh, gentlemen, I want to thank you for your proposal. We will keep it in mind as we consider our options. Okay, you've been doing. I apologize. May I use the restroom? Sure. Uh, it's just down the hall to the right. Thank you. This is a uh, beautiful facility that you have here. Thank you very much. Excuse me, I found this gentleman in my office on my computer. I am so sorry. When I left the restroom, I saw an open computer and tried to check my email. Thank you for coming, gentlemen. Miss Mallory, I didn't want to say this in front of Mr. Walker and everybody, but I think that guy tried to plug a jump drive into my computer. Excuse me. What exactly did you say? Princeton. Can you believe it? Congratulations, honey. That's wonderful. I'm gonna go tell everyone. Yeah. Newton said that I could expect a nice bonus, but he doesn't know anything about Preston's job. I got a call from a headhunter today. Really? Yeah. But the job is in China. Oh, yeah. That's where we're gonna move. Maybe we should at least think about it. We could pay for Jesse's college. The recruiter said that I could write my own ticket after a few years. A few years? Think of it as an adventure. You always said you wanted to travel. Yeah.
Yeah, hi, Jerry. It's uh, it's Robert. You you called about a job in China. I, I'd like to hear a little more about it. Excuse me, uh, can I help you? Uh, forgive us. We were lost and we saw the open gate and decided to come in for directions. Uh, sir, you have to put that phone down. Sorry, sorry. Uh, it all looks so interesting. What do you make here? Uh, we have never seen an American factory. Uh, perhaps we could get a tour. You know what? I'm sorry, but you're going to have to leave. Okay? okay. This Go way, on. please. So, uh... Mallory. Hey, I just found two trespassers taking pictures from the factory. I got their plates. Describe them. Hello, Robert. Good to meet you. My name is Zhang Guowei, and this is Li Cheng. He is my assistant. I've read in the trade journals about your contributions to glass insulation technology. I'm a systems engineer too, and I am very impressed. You've been my first choice for the position. <laughs> I'm flattered, but I just don't know how excited my wife is about moving to China. Oh, <laughs> you would not have to stay in China for long. We would ask you only to consult with us on the setup of the plant and the beginning of the manufacturing process. Then we would put you on retainer to answer any questions or solve any problems that might arise. I am interested, but there's still a few issues that we need to discuss. Mm. I signed a non-compete with RIS when I first started. Uh, how close is your product to our glass insulation? Your product is very good, the best available. Our goal would be to manufacture a similar product. See, that could be a problem. <sighs> would $200,000 lessen your burden? <laughs> yes, yes, it would. We are prepared to offer you $100,000 for the plans for the equipment and the formula for the glass insulation and $100,000 for your assistance in setting up the manufacturing. I don't think I can do that. Isn't that illegal? Mr. Wei is simply making a legitimate business offer based on your considerable engineering experience. Mr. Moore, Robert, it is your life's work, your knowledge that we seek, not theirs. But you must do what is right for you and your family. Please, consider it. Never mind Preston's job, I could get fired. Then just say no to the Chinese. 
And we'll forget you ever had that meeting. And what if they get the information from somebody else? It could put us out of business. They won't. And the company can take care of itself. So I, I said no, and I left. I just want you to know that I thought it was legitimate. I get calls from headhunters occasionally, but I'm very happy here, and, and I, I want you to know that. Thank you, Robert. We really appreciate you coming forward like this. I promise you, I won't forget it. Oh, and uh, I'm pretty sure that we'll need to talk about this again later, okay? Yes, sir. Uh, thank you. Sure. I'm impressed he came forward. It took guts. Yeah. This is serious, Fred. If someone takes their bait, it could bury us. We have to call the FBI. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Yeah, that's just what we need. The federal government going through our business. We just can't pretend this didn't happen. It's a threat to the company. And what if they tried to do this to someone else? Special Agent Carpenter. Yes? What company? We'll just start from the beginning, Miss Mallory. Uh-huh. His name is Lee Chung, 27, a Chinese-born naturalized citizen of the United States. He is currently attending graduate school at UCLA. He's either the nephew or cousin of Jiango Wei, 54, a Chinese national, former officer of the People's Liberation Army. He owns a small company that manufactures metal doors for the domestic Chinese market. The company appears successful, but doesn't seem profitable enough to account for the purchase of this valuable land or the construction of this facility. Nor does it seem that he had any prior interest in glass insulation. So there's someone else behind him? Possibly. The government? We can't connect those dots yet, but your product is one the PRC needs. The government has recently enacted some tough new commercial building regulations, and yours is one of the few insulating materials that meets the requirements for insulation and fire retardancy. I know. That's why we've been so dumbfounded by all the obstacles they've thrown in our way since we try to get into their market. Well, the vast majority of business with China is legitimate and good for our economy, but occasionally we run into situations like this where there is clearly a hidden agenda. They may try to acquire your product with or without your company's approval. What's the next step? Do you have a case? Well, we need to lure Way back to the U.S. With what? The same thing that brought him here. Your secrets. We'd like to set up a sting operation with your employee. Way put the ball in his court. Let's bounce it back and see what happens. We're not spies, Agent Carpenter. We make insulation. I'm not putting one of my employees in harm's way for this. We're under no obligation to comply with this, are we, Margaret? And let's just say that we catch these guys, and it goes to trial. They could subpoena the same documents the Chinese are trying to steal, couldn't they? Mr. Walker, there are legal protections that would keep your proprietary information from public disclosure. I think that's true, Fred. The Justice Department is very careful about protecting corporate trade secrets. But what if they're not careful? 
I, uh, I want to thank you for all of your help. But we're done here. I'm sorry. We've worked for over a decade to develop this product, and we can't risk our trade secrets becoming public in court. We completely understand. We're on your side, and so are the courts. I haven't seen a case yet that hasn't worked with the victim's business to keep that from happening. We've got your back on this, but we need to catch this guy. If it isn't you, it'll be another company. Thank you. Thanks. Appreciate you coming. We've got to do this, Fred. Why? We'd be taking a huge risk. And what about our stock prices when this hits the press? People will see we have a unique product worth protecting. Isn't that what we're paying our advertising agencies to do? What are you doing, Margaret? This just isn't like you. It's the principle. <laughs> when I bring up principle, you always bring up our stock prices. And you just took that off the table. Okay, so maybe I'm pissed off. Paul came by my office and said he thinks Chung might have had a thumb drive in his hand when he caught him at his desk. We haven't spent 20 years building this company to have them steal what we've created. Besides, I like this town, and it would die if we went out of business. So screw him. Let's do this. You want to do what? We want to set up a sting operation, but we need your help. Why me? They know you. We need you to call them and say you want to make the deal. Do you want me to do this? We'd like to see these guys face justice, but we don't want you to do anything you'd be uncomfortable doing. Robert, your decision will have no bearing on your job here. We're very grateful that you brought this to our attention. C can I discuss it with my wife? I'm afraid not. Only the FBI and the people in this room can know anything about it. I'm just an engineer. Shouldn't you get somebody who's, who's trained for this sort of thing? We would if we could, but they've been researching your company and reading the trades. They know the people who work here and who'd have access to what they need. Plus, before this is over, somebody's going to ask a question that only an engineer could answer. Yeah, OK. I'll be writing you notes during the conversation. Remember, we need him to acknowledge the illegality of the transaction. And we want a specific requirements list and a delivery date. Just do it like we practiced. You'll be just fine. Yeah, that's uh, easy for you to say. Ready? Okay. Hello, Mr. Way. It's Robert. Oh, hello, Robert. Yes, it is good to hear from you. Oh, uh, well, thank you. I'm prepared to give you the information you want for $200,000, but I, I don't like the payment schedule. How so? Well, I only get $100,000 uh, upon delivery. How do I know that I'll get the rest of the money when you go back to China? Mr. Moore, you may not expect us to give you all of the money without verifying the documents and making sure that they are complete. Now, neither one of us has recourse to the law. We are obligated to trust each other. 
Well, well, you need me more than I need you. We both need each other, Mr. Moore. Think of me as the solution to your tuition problem. Yeah. Okay. You got a deal. Excellent. You will see all of your money, Mr. Moore. I guarantee it. Now, I understand your aversion to email, but I have prepared a list of everything that we will need, and I am going to send it to you now. I got it. Will that be a problem? No, that that, that looks doable. When? How about next Saturday? Yeah, next next Saturday sounds good. Excellent. Mr. Chung will arrange all the details with you. Very good. We'll give this to the analyst right away. Oh, damn it, did he, did he say next Saturday? Yeah, why? That's my wife's birthday. I promised to take her out to dinner. I'm sorry, Robert. About set? Yes, sir. We are uh, good to go. Thank you. All right, thanks. Uh, how far away are you guys going to be? We'll be just down the hall. Yeah. Remember, once you make the transaction, excuse yourself, go to the bathroom and lock the door, and don't come out until we come and get you. Okay, until we come and get me. Okay. Ready? Yeah. yeah. Come on. This will be great. You ready for your close-up? Uh, ready as I'll ever be. Okay, I want you sitting here, Wayne Chung over there. We have a microphone and a camera, and the lamp, and in the smoke detector. These are the documents that your company has doctored for us? They are? Okay, thanks. They're coming early. They're en route, three minutes out. Oh, why are they early? Maybe they know. Is Robert, there something wrong? take a deep breath. It doesn't mean anything. It's not unusual. It happens from time to time. Okay? You'll be fine. Robert, you'll do great. Okay, let's go. just nervous. Seconds out.
Robert. Please, please come in. I assume that's the money? Yes. Do you have the documents? Yes. Quite frankly, I can't wait to get rid of them. How did you solve the high-pressure extrusion problem? Oh, uh, here, I, I developed a self-calibrating hinge uh, here mm. and, and here. You're going to need to make sure Customs doesn't see confidential on these uh, documents, otherwise we all go to jail. Don't worry about it, Robert. I am worried. We will take care of everything. Here is your money. Oh, no, no, I just, I've, I've never seen so much. I trust you. If you'll excuse me, I just need to use the bathroom. Stand by. And go, go, go. States District Court for conspiracy to steal the trade secrets of Iowa-based RIS Corporation. One of the key elements of the prosecution's case was the testimony of an RIS employee who worked undercover with the FBI. Security experts confirmed that... Yeah, we're watching right now. My dad rules. I can't believe you kept it a secret from me. Honey, I would have told you, but I would have had to kill you. How is that so? Mm. Well... I almost killed you for forgetting my birthday. Universities and government agencies. Security experts estimate that corporate espionage and theft of trade secrets robs up to $400 billion a year from the U.S. economy. But others point out that many incidents go undetected or unreported, raising some estimates to as much as a trillion dollars a year. Everyone agrees that the trend is on the rise. It was scary how persistent they were and how they did not care that they could be caught at any time. In the beginning, they were, they were surprised that an Asian competitor would go to this degree to obtain their trade secret information. Our manufacturing facility is uh, two hours away from the closest major uh, U.S. city, so you'd think you're safe there. By the end, after the prosecution, I think they had a better understanding of uh, the extent of how they have become a target. I can't get over the fact that, that those guys came into our plant not once but twice. They had no shame. It was, it was they were going to come and take this information, and if we got them one place, they were going to come at us from another place. It's not been a one-time target hit. It's been multiple times over this trusting relationship we built. We've been able to uh, assist them in um, covering up some of their vulnerabilities so they're less of a target. I can't say enough about the, about the efforts of the FBI. We worked with them every step of the way. They guided us, they coached us. They listened to what our concerns were and they, and they addressed those concerns. The culture shift from this experience has been that it's everybody's job to protect the intellectual property, uh, that everybody needs to be 
you know, vigilant about protecting this information.